Today I'm going to show you how to load and operate your LX5000 luxury scenting system. The first thing you'll want to do is grab your oil canister that came with your system and attach it from the atomizer by unscrewing it. Once it's detached, I want you to fill the oil canister with a 500 milliliter bottle of Brilliant Sense oil. Once it's filled, I want you to reattach it to the atomizer by screwing it back in. When you go to reattach it, make sure that the tube that's coming out of the atomizer goes back inside the oil container. Go ahead and screw it back in. When you screw it back in, make sure you're screwing it in tight. Now you're going to want to connect the tubes. In order to do this, you'll take the bigger one of the tubes that you received, you will press down on the black ring on the top of the atomizer, and you'll press the tube inside that to secure it. Now you're going to take the smaller tube that came with the LX5000. You're going to press down on the other lock ring towards the back and insert the tube into that. Once your tubes are connected to your oil canister and atomizer, that part is complete. Now I'd like to show you how to set the time and date on your LX5000 system. To do this is pretty simple. If you look towards the center of your LCD screen, you'll find the current time. And if you look towards the top, you'll see a flashing arrow pointing at a day of the week. That's letting you know what day of the week it currently is. To change these settings, hit the set button one time. This will bring up the hours are now flashing. You can change the hours. You can go up or down. Being that this says 15, it's set in military time. So this is actually indicating that right now it's 3.41 p.m. Hit set again if you'd like to change the minutes. Hit set again if you'd like to change the current day of the week. As you can see, it's pointed at Thursday right now. If I hit down, it goes to Wednesday. If I hit up, up, it'll go to Friday. Being that today's Thursday, I'm gonna move it back to Thursday, and I'm gonna hit set. Now what it's asking you for is the volume. This is how much oil you have poured into the machine. Every time you buy a new bottle of Brilliant Sense oil and you load it into your machine, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that setting is always set to 500. So again, to get back to that screen, hit set, 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 set again. You'll see it says 500 volume, that's correct. Hit set again, you'll see it says 500 level, that's correct. If it's anything less than 500 on either one of these settings, I want you to set them to 500. Once it's at 500, hit set again. It's gonna ask you your milliliters per hour. Always set this to 10.0, and then hit set again. Now you have the current time and date programmed into your system. So the reason that I asked you to set those volumes and those levels to 500 milliliter is because those affect this light. If you're seeing this light right here is shining green, that's letting you know that you have more than 50% oil in your tank. If it's blue, it's letting you know that you currently have less than 50% in your tank. If you see this flashing red, that's letting you know that it's nearly empty or empty. If, so every time that you purchase a bottle of Brilliant Sense oil and load it in this machine, if you set both the volume and the level back to 500 each, this will turn back to green, letting you know the exact amount of oil that you have in your bottle. So the next thing I'd like to show you how to do is how to set your schedule into the system. To do this, hit the mode button on the left. This says event on one. This is the very first schedule that you can set. So go ahead and hit set. You'll see the hours are now flashing. If you wanted it to start, if you wanted the machine to run from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., that's how we'll set it up. So go ahead and hit the up button twice to get it to 10. Set again to change the minutes, but we're not gonna change the minutes because we're setting it for 10 a.m. Monday through Sunday. Hit set again, and now you'll see one of the days of the week is flashing. I want it to be Monday through Sunday, but if, for example, you did not want Monday to be included, you would hit the center button, and you'll see the arrow is now gone from Monday. If you want Monday included again, just hit the center button again, and you'll see the arrow is there again. So if you want to ever remove a day, you can hit up to reach that day. Just hit the center button and it will remove it. Okay, so now that we know it's starting at 10 a.m., go ahead and hit the mode button again. It's gonna ask you event off. This is what time it turns off. Since we said we want it to turn off at two, I'm gonna hit set. The hours are now flashing. I'm gonna set this to 14 o'clock because the system is set on military time. So now that it's 14 o'clock, I can hit the mode button. 
and now it's asking me, how long do you want to dispense your scent for in seconds? It's flashing five seconds right now. We always recommend that you set this to 60 seconds. So just keep holding the up button until you reach 60. Now hit the mode button again. Now this is asking you, how long do you want it to pause for? It's currently saying 160. We always recommend you set this to 180. This way the machine can dispense your scent for 60 seconds straight and then the machine will pause for 180 seconds before dispensing it again. So hit mode and that will lock in the first schedule. You have five total schedules to work with. So if you wanna add any additional days or hours, you can do that with your other schedules.